Alright, thank you very much. Hello everybody, it's your good friend Possible here and I'm back in action with another Soul Story movie review, which is more like a day late dollar short style movie review of 300, Rise of the Empire. Real quick, the movie was okay. Not really that great, not really that bad, just okay. Uh, it's called Rise of, the, of an Empire. It really should have been called 300 on the Water. Uh, not the musical that I was led to believe it would be. Uh, you basically have this guy here who has one of those really complicated Greek names that I'm not going to pronounce because I'll just butcher it, who is their naval lieutenant. Now, the thing I liked about this movie was that it started off really good. It was exciting. It was adventurous. And you got a sense that it was going to be a little bit different. This guy, instead of using brute strength, uses cunning and cleverness. And it was an interesting mixture of what was happening during the 300 and what happened just a little after the 300, while at the same time what happened just before the 300. What really started this whole war, in other words. Um, and so you basically have this guy as the naval captain for the Greeks. You have Eva Green playing the naval captain for the uh, Persians, and they, you know, meet on the battle. He only has like a handful of ships. She has over a hundred, a million ships with, you know, a million people each. So obviously you have the exact same thing as you did with 300. You have the outnumbered Greeks versus the, um, extremely numerous, um, Persians. That said, that's what the problem with the movie. It gets old, this whole battle sequences. Um, it starts, like I said, it starts off really promising, but it's the same thing over and over again. You really don't get it sometimes. You're looking at the thing saying, why didn't she just order the attack, you know? It's like the first battle, the Greeks show off their cleverness, and it's like, well, I've got a whole armada behind me. Let's just go get them now. It's like, now nah, let's wait another day. It's like, why, <laughs> you know? And these battles, you know, as opposed to taking hours or anything, seem to only last five minutes, you know, give or take. That said, the story was interesting when there was a story. It actually was very plot-oriented. I'm not going to deny that. And um, it was everything 300 was supposed to be because, let's face it, it's the movie 300. They're going to take the history. They're going to rewrite it. They're going to make it more exciting. And then they're going to give it kind of a... It's not over yet ending, so they want to leave it way open for a sequel. A third part, which I'm sure they'll split into two more parts, which is the style of our times. I don't know if a third part's really coming. If it does, I hope it doesn't take another, what was it, six years have passed since the, since the last one. Um, but ultimately, the movie does get to see it. Only because if you're into this kind of movie... You'll enjoy it. You know, it's good for a few laughs. It's good for a few exciting moments. A few thrilling slashes and dashes right here. My last complaint was that how much they rehashed of the th of the original 300 movie. You know, in, in the original 300 movie, they had these powerful beasts come out. In this one, a powerful warship comes out. In um, 300, a father loses his son. In this movie, a son loses his father. It's like, you know what, we just, it's one thing to be so unoriginal that you're going to remake a movie we already saw, but it's another thing to just make a sequel and rehash what we've already seen in the first one. I get that you're paying like a homage to it or something, but you know what, it's getting old real fast, guys, and it's just not working. It still gets to see it. Like I said, it's harmless. It's fun. It has its moments. Uh, it just seems a little bit long, but other than that, good acting, solid, solid characters, and a fun story. All right? Well, guys, that's it for me today. We'll check you later at the theaters.